All right, we got Karen Huger from the House of Potomac. We got Phoebe Robinson. Her podcast, Black Frazier, is available now wherever you listen to podcasts. Um, Karen, IDK, IDK wants to know, we know Rihanna has tuned into your iconic Instagram live, but has she slid into your DMs? Can we expect a Fenty and LaDame collab in the future? You know, only the gods will know that, uh, but... Even if she slipped into my DM, I would be very respectful and not share that because that would be a private moment and that would be between she and I. Very good. Smart. David, uh, or Phoebe, David C. texted, have you kept in touch with Julia Roberts after she taught you to swim? (laughs) We kept in touch for a little bit when seeing each other, you know, happy birthday text. And she's always so lovely and delightful. I, I enjoy her so much. Karen, Kaylin V said, what's your relationship like with Michael Darby this season? Did fatherhood change him and how? You know, I saw Michael briefly, but to be honest, I felt like this fatherhood thing was really good on Michael. And I was more focused on baby Dean. I love the baby. He's a good baby and just such a great spirit. So, yeah. But it's been good Uh, for Michael. Karen, Natalie G wants to know if you felt like Candace had the right intentions in coming to Ashley's dinner that Monique and Giselle hosted. Oh, absolutely. I thought she did have the right intentions when she came because I was with her when she got the phone call and she asked the questions, um, you know, is this a good move? And I thought it was, and she wanted to make sure it was received well because it was about baby Dean and she didn't want it to turn into something else. And the celebration for Ashley. Well, Karen said that Potomac put her on a pedestal, so I hope she has a clear view of all the other housewives cities from up there because she's about to say if the behavior in their neck of the woods is socially acceptable with Ooh. la dame or la don't. Okay, over on Ooh. Roni, would seeing your girlfriend doing a raunchy dance at your birthday party ruin your party? Uh, no, la dame, la dame. Okay. Would you force all your friends to pony up $100 for your birthday so you could buy a new Gucci bag? That's a LaDon't. LaDon't. <laughs> okay. Is it acceptable to repeatedly bring up your friend's arrest and mug shot? Once is enough. LaDon't. <laughs> Once is enough. I, okay. In, over in Potomac, enough. would you get back with your ex if he cheated on you like both Giselle and Robin have done? That's not fair. Uh, they're separate situations. I'd give Juan a shot, but I would, you know, I can only pray for Giselle. You can only pray for Giselle. Phoebe, what's your opinion there? I think it's tough. I, I do really feel like, you know, Robin and Juan, Juan, they just have like this connection and they're meant to be together. And I'm just not sure about Giselle's situation yet. Like, I think she really wants to make it work and get the family back together. But I don't know. I'm just, I'm on the fence. Okay. What, Phoebe, you ain't the only one on the fence. We all in shop. <laughs> Ooh. Is it appropriate to start drama at an event for a baby? La don't. La don't. La don't. No. Uh, it's about hey, baby. Uh, Phoebe, what was your reaction to the cl- the cash bar at the one year anniversary party? You know, I just feel like if you're going to invite everyone out to celebrate your anniversary and it's only been a year and everyone just came and gave you gifts for your wedding, like you cover all the drinks. Like, why am I paying for my tequila? I- I'm going to stay home. Karen, you agree? You know what? Each his own. You know, I was shocked, but that was her choice. And and she's trying to buy a house. She's trying to save up. So I'm on the fence with that. Um, all right. Very good. Well, I'm going to leave it there. I want to thank both of you for hanging out with us tonight. So great to see you both. Uh, and I hope to see you soon in person. Thank you. Likewise. Andy. I love and you. I, miss I can't you. wait to see you. Bye bye. Miss you, Karen. <laughs> bye. Everybody listen to Black Frazier available now wherever you listen to podcasts. Bye, Karen. Bye. bye.